Uh, we have a, on my website, we placed this map that you made, and it's also on your website. So tell people who are maybe listening and have a computer where they can go look at this quickly on your website. Well, look, um, you go to uh, one-able.org, um, and then when you get on, have a look under uh, the main page called X, that's A-C-T-S, X, and the first, uh, the first topic you'll come to will be the Vatican Holocaust. If you click on that, you'll see there are four articles there that take you through the history of this. Now, <clears throat> putting a pentagram, people say, well, that's fine. Um, all right, you can draw a pentagram of the worst death camps and put a temple to burning and sacrificing people at the centre and then um, show that people were burnt. Okay, that's fine, but you're, you're still implying Rome. Well, when you extend these lines out, that's where you take it to the next level. And suddenly you find that these lines and these camps don't just simply connect something up um, over 300 miles. It's the largest pentagram in history. There's, there's no bigger design pentagram I've seen using human effort anywhere on the planet. It, it, it's immense, this pentagram. Um, but when you look at these uh, lines and extend them out to, to what I'm calling um, ley lines of evil, you discover that the single most important ley line of this pentagram takes you from Treblinka, Auschwitz, and continue that down right through to the heart of Rome. And more importantly... So that direct Auschwitz, line goes right through Rome, correct? Right through Rome. The, the heart of Rome is connected to the very, very worst death camps of World War II and the worst of the worst Auschwitz. More importantly, when you connect these lines up, you discover that the ley lines connect all the Catholic dictators and lands of World War II into a master grid. There is no question, there is no doubt, the evidence is in front of you through mathematics and through maps. The question I have, why... The motive, okay, we're looking at a Luciferian satanic motive, but why would they go through this? Is there something that they want to leave for history? Is there a reason for this? Is it just basically uh, showing off? I mean, is it just laughing at us? What? What is the real, mo I mean, you've studied this. Why would they go through this? Why not just build camps in any kind of uh, place that suits their purpose and kill people? What is the meaning behind this? Is it, uh, that's an well, interesting thing I'd like you to explain. People, people read the Bible, and they periodically hear, as Pope Benedict did last year, where he said, no, hell is a real place. It's a place of fire, damnation, and pain. The Bible tells you that for a long time, the people that sacrificed babies, children, and others to Baal Moloch believed that souls could, in the afterlife, continue to be tormented. And worse, in offering them to this satanic god, would become the tools of both the priests petitioned the Dark Lord and the Dark Lord himself. In other words, this is none other than a machine, a massive machine, to enslave more than 18 million souls sacrificed to Moloch, the gods of the Vatican and the Jesuits in World War II. This is the single reason for it, because that spiritual energy through history they believed, not I, but it's their belief system, they believed would help keep them in power. And given that, the, that, that World War II, without question, was activated by Catholic dictators, and without question had the, the mark of the Jesuits and the Catholic Church, and yet through all of that evidence, we come today, over 60 years later, and find that not one mainstream person in media talks about the Vatican, the evil of the Vatican, or even the complicity of the Vatican in World War II. You have to say that this machine has been a resounding success. And so we see this hidden satanic...
satanic motive that this pentagram shows and it's just amazing though when I looked at this and started I think it's an incredible research work, uh, piece of work because it begins to see that they're they're laying their trap so to speak their satanic trap for all the world in a sense correct well think about this as, as awful as what happened to these people by being burnt alive and I think one of the greatest both absurdities and greatest insults that is still per per perpetuated on these people is, is the ridiculous claim that the Nazis um, firstly gassed people rather than burnt them alive and secondly did it because somehow they were trying to save money. But the fact is that this machine, the largest pentagram ever created in the history of the world, this machine is for nothing other than the enslavement of people in the afterlife. And if that is true, and I believe it is, then we're still dealing with some 18 million souls today that still haven't found peace after everything that happened to them over 60 years ago. And I think that is as much a crime as the denial of the Catholic Church in the Vatican and, and yeah. World War II. Right. And so when we look at the... What do you think, though, when you look at this, uh, when you see what happened in World War II, take it to what's going on today, the logical step for them, and try to tell Americans and your Australian uh, uh, folks there how, you know, Europe was targeted back then. <clears throat> do you believe that we're in their crosshairs now? Well, it turns out that the second largest pentagram ever created in history, I believe, uh, is none other than the hidden pentagram formed by the sides of the Pentagon in Washington. And and one of the great one of the great um, uh, kind of misdirections that people uh, have is that whenever they think of satanic uh, pentagrams, they immediately think of the street design. Uh, of Washington that was redesigned in the 19th century, which is complete red herring. It's, it, it, it's got nothing to do with this. It's the, the, pe the Pentagon was laid its foundation on 9-11 uh, 1941. And six years to that day, we had 9-11 2001. But when that Pentagon was formed, you need to extend the lines out so you get the goat head of Mendez, a perfect a perfect representation of the goat head of Mendes. Now I know people look at the Pentagon and think of thousands in different ways, but that design of that pentagram, the Pentagon in Washington, is the second part, an extension of this, that occurred when power shifted in the Jesuits, a uh, Jesuit civil war that occurred from about 1942 to 1945, when the American Jesuits um, took control and created what we know today as the New World Order. And that grid system connects up to this grid. And it connects up with, with one key line. There's one direct line between those two. And it is that both directly source and deliver their power to Rome. So if you have a look at One Evil and the four articles I said about the Vatican Holocaust, the fourth article gives you the complete profile of the New World Order, how it was formed, and how it connects to this pentagram, incredible pentagram of evil in Europe, and the second largest pentagram in the world, which is right smack bang in the centre of Washington, D.C. What are your thoughts when it comes to...